And, uh, you know, I think we, we talked to you uh, after getting the job, and, you know, we talked about you, you, you did sort of inherit a gold mine a little bit in that position group, which also means you hold them to a very high standard. How would, how would you sort of grade out your room through, through five games? They've been doing well, uh, working hard every week, uh, trying to prepare themselves for the opportunity that they get. Um, you know, I think we've been uh, – basically facing some coverages that, you know, has uh, given us some opportunities in some games and and, in other games not so much, just like Coach Helton talked about. And uh, whenever we do get our opportunities, we've got to make the most of them. Coach Colbert, it's uh, good to see you as always. Always. You look look fantastic on the sidelines. Uh, Sir. When you see your group of wide receivers, what's the difference that each each one brings to that position, and how do you guys use their talents differently in the, in the offense yeah i mean uh they're all different so you know tyler is a very smooth route runner um he makes uh very uh hard catches look very easy um and then you got amara who's you know who can play inside and outside he's very smart very savvy strong player uh makes some great catches on the ball and then Pittman, uh again he's another one that can play inside or outside uh, you know, he can get behind the defense. Uh, he can run, you know, great intermediate routes, great short routes. I mean, they all kind of do uh, different things well, but they play together very well. And I think that's the biggest thing. Okay, see, I got a little annoyed today. I was on Twitter, and a reporter who I, I – Stay I, off Twitter. Uh, that's a, that's a <laughs> good advice. But a, a reporter who I, who I think is great was tweeting about how great a job that the UW cornerback did in shutting down Michael Pittman Jr. And listen, I don't know, maybe, maybe he did do a great job, but what I saw when we talked on the broadcast – I saw a corner lined up right on Michael Pittman's face and then one like five yards behind him on a lot of plays. I mean, what was what did you see as the sort of reaction of the Utah game in terms of the way Michael Pittman was played on Saturday? Well, I think that they uh, they made a decision not to let, you know, Pittman or the receivers kind of uh, to get off or get any easy throws yeah. and catches and stuff like that. So. Uh, there were there were a lot of people around us and uh, <laughs> a lot of bodies. But again, that's why you know we did a great job running the ball. Vi had a great job, uh, great game running the ball. Stephen Carr, uh, Marquis. So you know when they when they choose to do things like that, we have to hand the football off and and, and make them pay that way. Obviously, coach, you're not going to make any excuses, you know. Uh, but there are. St- I'm sure there's challenges when having three different quarterbacks in this only five games here. I mean, talk about some of the challenges it brings when you have just, you know, different throws from different quarterbacks for your, for your group. Yeah. I think the great thing is, is, you know, we've worked with all the guys from spring ball to training camp uh, to the season. You know, we, we get so many throws and catches with the guys from the summertime workouts. Um, The offense hasn't changed, you know, from, from, uh, when JT got hurt to, to Keaton being hurt. So I think that's the, the best thing for everybody is, is that the offense is consistent and what we do and, and our philosophy and, and how Coach Harrell likes to, to do things. So at the end of the day, you know, it's a challenge for us as receivers just to, to do our job and catch the ball when it's thrown to us. And it's, it's not really a, a, a big deal who's throwing it. We were just talking to Coach Helton about the running back rotation. I'm interested in the wide receiver rotation because j- there was so much talk about sort of needing eight receivers and, and, and how deep this receiving core was. But for the most part, it's, it's been the big three out there for, for, for most of the snaps. Is, is some of that dictated by, by the tempo of the game? If it's not going quite as fast, then they don't get as tired. Is it dictated by the fact that there's been a lot of close games and so you sort of always want your, your, your A guys out there? How is, uh, what goes into the, the wide receiver rotation? There's a number of things. Um, you know, one thing, it's a long season. So, um, you know, the way things have been going uh, thus far, um, you know, it doesn't mean that necessarily it'll, it'll continue that way throughout. Yeah. Um, but like you said, uh, b- between going tempo and, and things of that nature, I mean, sometimes it's hard to get guys in and out. You know, we try to get guys in and out. Uh, I think it was a Stanford game. And, um, you know, but at the end of the day, you know, we want to play with uh, the three guys we got in there and, and the other guys are working really hard, you know, for their opportunity when they get it. It's, it's such a great room, you know, and uh, they support one another. They, they love one another in the room. So at the end of the day, everybody's going to get their opportunity at some point. You guys go against uh, Coach Greg Burns, defensive backs all the time. And obviously you don't get to watch them during the game, but talk about the guys on the other side of the ball, the defensive backs. I thought they had a great performance against Washington. Yeah. And that's another group that, uh, you know, guys are getting opportunities because of injuries or, or, or other things, and uh, they're taking advantage of those opportunities. And I think iron sharpens iron, like Coach Helton always talks about. We get to go against them. They help us to become better. Uh, we're hoping to, to, to make them better by going against them every day in practice. So they have a number of guys over there that can play in, in different positions from corners to nickels. to So, you know, it's very competitive, and, and I like that group. 
You're a basketball guy. In basketball, they have uh, – He's an all-sports guy. Kerry Colbert yeah. watched every, every he single He does, sport. but he loves hoops. <laughs> I love tennis. He too. loves hoops. <laughs> oh, okay, good, nice. Uh, but, you know, in basketball, they have the term of zone buster. You know, yes. a guy that it, teams are playing a lot of zone, they go out there and shoot threes. I'm wondering, you know, obviously running the football is sort of going to be the zone buster for this offense. But in terms of keeping your receivers in the game and, and not being, you know, having them taken out of it, if you do see it just a ton of zone, what makes a good zone wide receiver? Uh, just the ability to catch the ball and move the sticks. Um, we talked about it today in our meetings. Um, if, we, if we have to catch a six-yard hitch every single play, we'll do that to move the ball down the field. I mean, everything doesn't have to be the, the 50, 60-yard play. I mean, I know we all want to <laughs> have that play, and it yeah. looks good at the end of the day. You know, those are the ones you see on the highlights. But if we're staying ahead of the sticks and, and we're catching a, six, uh, a hitch for six yards or a slant or something like that and staying ahead of the sticks, I think that's most important. All right, that's Kerry Colbert, the man leading the USC wide receiving core. They'll have a big matchup with Notre Dame. It's not till a week from Saturday, October 12. That'll be a 4.30 kickoff out here on the West Coast, 7.30, where we'll be in South Bend, and you can watch it on NBC.